Manufacturers distribute methylene diphenyl diisocyanate, commonly called MDI, in a variety of packages, including drums and intermediate bulk containers. In this section, we will discuss guidance for handling drums and intermediate bulk containers of methylene diphenyl diisocyanate. This will include receiving drum and intermediate bulk container deliveries, regulatory information, the personal protective equipment required during transfer operations, and the discarding of empty containers. The receiving, handling, and shipment of MDI require compliance with all federal state and local regulations. Make sure you know these regulations and follow them at all times. Outside the U.S., different regulations may apply. In the U.S., the Department of Transportation, DOT, regulates the transportation of 4,4-prime methylene diphenyl diisocyanate as a hazardous substance in single packages in quantities greater than 5,000 pounds. When shipped in packages of less than 5,000 pounds, this material ships as a non-regulated. When receiving MDI deliveries, when the truck arrives, check all paperwork for accuracy. Verify the purchase order number and ensure the proper material and correct number of containers have been received. When you have checked the security seals against the paperwork, break the seals and open the doors of the trailer. Use caution when opening the doors as items may have shifted during transportation. Assist the driver in positioning the trailer at the dock. Make sure that the driver has set the emergency brake on the truck once it is in position. Place wheel chocks under the tires of the trailer as well as the rear tires of the truck to prevent movement in either direction. Once the paperwork and trailer checks are complete, the containers are ready to be unloaded. Carefully remove load securement devices as appropriate. If necessary, contact supplier for assistance on removing securement devices. When forklifts are used to unload drums, use the proper drum handling apparatus in order to move the drums. Never use the forks to pick up a drum by the chimes. And never try unloading a trailer without using the proper equipment and techniques. Make sure that the name on the container labels matches the name on the shipping documents and confirm that no containers are leaking. All these checks included in this example process may seem unnecessary because this operation is routine, but taking these precautions every time will help ensure that you have received the correct product. Drums used to transport MDI are typically made of metal or a variety of other composite materials with tight head construction. Open top drums can be more prone to leakage of liquid contents, so closed head drums are most commonly used in this MDI service. Intermediate bulk containers can be made of either metal or a variety of other composite materials. For drum and intermediate bulk container storage, drums are commonly stored on their chimes or on pallets. Drums may be stacked. Check with supplier for additional guidance. Intermediate bulk containers can also be stacked with certain limitations. Manufacturers specify stacking limits on the label on the intermediate bulk containers. Drums and intermediate bulk containers are stored in an area that protects the product from contamination due to moisture intrusion or degradation due to extreme temperature exposure. For transferring the MDI from the containers, transfer operations can safely be conducted using a variety of methods. In all transfer situations, consider the potential for moisture to enter the container with the air that displaces the liquid being removed. To minimize the risk of unplanned reactions, it's extremely important that MDI not come in contact with moisture or water. While pressure transfer is commonly used with bulk MDI, it's important to understand that drums and IBCs are rated for very low pressures. Due to the risk of blowout, pressure transfers should never be considered when transferring with drums and IBCs. In order to avoid contact or exposure to MDI, appropriate personal protective equipment must be worn during transfer operations. For MDI, this may include chemical splash goggles or a face shield and chemical resistant gloves. Certain activities may require additional protective equipment. Many companies contract with an approved drum reconditioner for the disposing of empty MDI drums. 
If you need help in locating an approved drum reconditioner, contact the Reusable Industrial Packaging Association at reusablepackaging.org. Follow the instructions on the IBC label for additional information on returning the tote. If you do not use the services of a drum reconditioner and neutralization is necessary, contact supplier for guidance. Puncture empty drums so they cannot be reused and remove the product label. And don't forget the hazards created by refilling containers with even a little moisture, water, or any foreign substance. Reaction between MDI and water will slowly emit carbon dioxide gas, and in a closed container like a drum could cause a violent rupture. If you suspect that a reaction is taking place inside a sealed container through evidence such as a bulging drum, risks can be minimized by isolating the area immediately and contacting Chemtrek to communicate with the manufacturer for assistance. In this section, we have discussed practices for handling drums and intermediate bulk containers containing methylene diphenyl diisocyanate. This included receiving drum and intermediate bulk container deliveries, regulatory information, the personal protective equipment required during transfer operations, and discarding empty containers. If you have any further questions or are unsure of the actions required of you, ask your supervisor or team leader or contact the product manufacturer. For more information on the topics covered in this section, consult sources including the following literature developed by the Center for the Polyurethanes Industry. Guidance for melting 4,4 prime methylene diphenyl diisocyanate MDI in drums, guidelines for receiving and unloading MDI, disposal of empty drums containing polyurethane chemicals.